and welcome to another episode of my series in the landscape photographer profiles and today I am very excited because I get to meet and uh, have a good chat and conversation with Emer Collins and Emer Collins is a excellent photographer she specializes in seascapes and her work is very well known around Ireland um, and I'm lucky because I get to spend the whole day with Emer today so we started this morning at dawn and now it's during the day so it's when I'm going to record my interview with Emer and then we're going to be here as well uh, until the end of the day until set so I'm really looking forward to having the conversation with Emer and what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to follow the usual um, uh, sequence that I normally do on these so you are going to see three images from Emer that are not taken today but three of her images from her portfolio I'm going to ask her a series of five questions and then following that I'll show you three of the images that uh, Emer captured during her day uh, with me here today so um, come join me we're going to get Emer set up here and um, I look forward to having a chat with her and finding out how she takes photos and what makes her tick as a photographer. Well, I'm uh, primarily a uh, seascape photographer. I enjoy doing landscapes as well. And uh, for my images, I like them to be uh, simple, um, uncluttered and delicate. And for that reason, uh, I prefer shooting into uh, indirect light. I prefer reflected light rather than uh, strong light. And um, so I produce, I produce my best images uh, beside the sea. I'm happiest beside the sea. I always have had a very strong affinity with the sea and that's even stronger now because I have hearing now. So um, that's my style anyway. I'm a seascape photographer and I like simple, um, uncluttered and uh, delicate images. They work best for me. Okay, the, the equipment that I use at present I use um, Canon, uh, camera camera and uh, Canon lenses. So the camera that I'm shooting with is a 5D Mark IV and I started using the 5D Mark IV um, about a year ago. I had been using the 6D up till then and I went for the 5D Mark IV because I thought it would give me an improved dynamic range. Um, the lenses I use are Canon as well. Um, my main, the lens I use most of the time is the 16 to 35 f uh, 2.8 and I also use the Canon 70 to 200 uh, for my seascapes and landscapes as well. Uh, other equipment that I have then, um, my filters. The filters that I use are a very important tool uh, in my bag and I'm using them to balance the light and to control the shutter speed. So I'm using uh, Lee filters, I'm using Lee uh, hard grads um, for, for that purpose and um, I use an Endura tripod and it's a very sturdy, great tripod for use for using uh, for the seascapes. And um, that's it then. I don't use a remote, and uh, I don't use a remote at all. Well, first of all, I might do a little bit of preparation beforehand, and uh, I might check the tides, and I'd also um, I check the tides and I check the weather. So then when I arrive at a location then, when I arrive to do a seascape, um, if it's a flat beach or if the tide is out, I might look for uh, patterns in the wet sand to use as foreground interest. And I'd look, uh, I'd look at the light, I'd look at the light in the sky and I'd be drawn to the light. Whatever way I point my camera, right, left or straight ahead, that depends on the light um, in, in the sky. So. Um, if I, arrive, if, if I arrive at a location and it's high tide, on a beach at high tide, I go right down to the shoreline and I'll set up my camera, I'll set up the camera on the tripod and set up my filters and everything and uh, make my composition. So for the, uh, for the seascape then I'm standing in the water just an inch or two for most of my shots and what I'm looking for uh, at high tide, I'm looking to capture a nice big sweeping backwash and I'm also trying to capture the I'm trying to capture the energy of the incoming wave, trying to capture the height in that incoming wave. Uh, 
Um, the top tip that I could give to any uh, landscape or seascape photographer would be um, to, to follow your heart with regard to your images. Um, go, go with what uh, looks right to you. Um, uh, when you're looking through the, your viewfinder, um, if the image looks right and if it feels right, well then it will be right. So don't, don't be worried about rules. Don't be worried about the rules of photography. I don't follow the rules at all. And with my seascapes, uh, most of my images, the horizon is right in the middle. It's at, the horizon is right in the middle of the image. So don't, don't worry. Don't worry, about, uh, don't worry about the rules. Follow your heart. And if it looks right, it, it will be right. Okay, well, the best advice that I have ever received as a photographer, uh, when I, I started out doing the, the photography in uh, 2011, and the best advice I received was to invest in good quality glass. And you're going to be changing your camera body over and over again, but you'll, you'll, you'll keep your lenses. So this is my workhorse, my uh, Canon 16 to 35, and I've had that since 2012, and it served me very well. So I would say to any photographer out there, invest in very good quality glass, and always buy the very best you can afford. That's advice that was given to me six years ago, and that was the best advice I was ever given. Another excellent uh, interview that I've had there with Emer, and I really did enjoy uh, listening to her and going how she goes about taking her photos, the equipment that she uses, and the top tip and the advice that she gives as well. And something I would actually share with that I would have noticed from my own photography when I got very good glass, it really made a difference to my photos. So um, that could be a very good takeaway from uh, Emer's interview there. So um, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Please do. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified of uh, additional episodes that would come out. I'll place some links to Emer's work as well um, below here. Uh, links to her website and her uh, Facebook page. Please do go and like and follow. And um, from the Copper Coast, thanks very much as always for tuning in. And I hope you do enjoy the episode as I said. And until the next time, Schlange Folk.